this is Stepan and today we're gonna continue applying my makeup for the eyes and we will start with applying it to my left one I'm gonna use the concealer type shape tape in the shade 12 and it's so small not too small but pretty good concealer it has this one and we'll apply it right here on the top eyelid first make sure you wash your face and cleanse it with all things what you need this brush is pretty fluffy so it will apply it softly and you won't need to blend the edges if you apply it all evenly and and do the checks for the side like on the on the border with the concealer where the foundation is gonna be you can blend it better and this is pretty much it for the eyes let's do something pink today I applied my concealer so let's go ahead and choose gel pencil which we will use as a line so let me go ahead and start to use it right here right now I don't know if you can see so on top of the concealer we just go with a line and I follow my lower lid to create this wing here and I would need some small pencil like this and blend it and I also will use some flat brush to the temple like this okay let's connect them together like here okay and I need to return the color back and I start to blend it, kind of seize the color from here. Okay, go ahead, blend it again. As you can see, I'm doing right now it only on, on the top edge. Like this, pretty easy. Let me use some pink to apply on top lid. I'm gonna take this coral color right here, what I have in a palette from Aliexpress it's a beauty glazed color board so let's apply it I test the shades and they've been pretty amazing so far as you can see it's pretty coral and it's pretty pigmented so you don't need to worry about the pigments Let's blend it with the soft, clean brush, which I dropped as usual. In a crease. Okay, let's go back to the pencil and apply some pencil on top of this. oven the pencil is a bit soft but you don't need to use sharpener you can use a lighter as i heard never tried it but it's my word who knows who knows leave a comment below just to share if i can let's apply some pink here just to make it look better i'll use a darker pink so i'm gonna drop another pink what i have here and this palette doesn't have any mirrors. Okay, let's blend it again. And I will use the same coral just to put it again right here and blend it higher. Okay, let's blend it again. Soft it out on the edges. Let me apply it to the lower eyelid. okay looks great what do you think and let's apply more dark pink into the corner let me use another brush which i can build up faster Line. 
see. As you can see, the eyeshadow it still stays on my eye and don't go down to my cheeks or anything, which is good, and it means this eyeshadow are good. I don't know. Do I want to do the split line right here? Do you want to keep it same? Let me try with the pencil to apply the. Right here. Okay, good. Now you continue to the inner eye, but first of all, let me apply some light eyeshadow right there in the inner corner of my eye. It should be good. Let's use this one. And let's now connect this one. Okay, and let me try to move it down a bit by using the small brush for the detail line. this let's draw lashes using mascara let's use this one book some it's black and it's not waterproof and it has a big brush oh look at this size great let this one dry. I will use the concealer just to bright up this area and it's gonna be good as well. And probably I will use the concealer to create a sharper tip of my beak right here. Lovely, lovely. Lashes in the bottom. Everyone who doesn't have this brush, I recommend you to find something similar like this. This is one from Barocco from Ukraine, but you don't need to use the same one. You can buy any one. What looks like this one from Aliexpress will make your life easier to apply your lower lashes. Using the fan brush is my favorite because you almost could not go wrong with that. 
it's pretty complicated to use the brush what provides by company if especially with the mascara what has a huge brush like the boxom does I would uh, say if I won't have this brush, I would apply it, yeah, sure. But it would be more complicated for me. And if you're not expert with like applying it with a big brush, I recommend you to spend like $3 or whatever it is could cost on AliExpress. And just be happy with that. Look at this. It opens my eye. I can see pretty clear. You can see pretty clear what I can see pretty clear. Oh, and I can repeat it all the time. And let's apply the second layer. I don't think if it's gonna be the second one, since this one is still haven't dried, I think. And be careful with this brush as well. You can press too harsh as I did probably in the middle of my eye. And we'll like press it to your eye and you will get a dark spot right there. Let's clean it up a bit with the concealer, what we used before for the uh, for other eye to create the base since we didn't use lipstick today as a base or any base product by any other company okay you see how good it is let's fix it with a light eyeshadow which we're all gonna apply to the brow brush so since we don't want to blend it I just will tap it to my eye. How does it look? Good? I think it looks great. Let's split it a bit. Let's also apply a bit of concealer probably in the inner corner. Or oh, I might need a smaller brush. Or oh, I might be happy with this. Okay. Let me blend it a bit and again I will use a eyebrow brush to pick up the lightest shade I had in dry and just reapply it where the concealer is and blend it at the top and at the bottom. Let's leave it like this. Maybe we want to blend a bit of coral what we had before and mix it. No, coral is good. Now do I want to mix it with dash? Let me try dash one. What do you think? How does it look? Pretty soft, yeah? Great one. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you are only hope. Okay. Okay, for the foundation today, let's use Estee Lauder uh, Futurista Hydro Rescue. It's gonna be a bit on the glow side, I believe, is it, if it's hydrating, um, hydrating foundation. So <laughs> let's apply it to my face. I'll use more than like three pumps, I think. But let me go ahead and apply it with the brush first. We're gonna use a couple brushes today because I'm not sure if one is enough to go closer to the eyes. Well, let's apply it to my face. And I didn't shave today, so in case you don't know how to shave, you can rewatch one of my previous video where I did it with my face. Be careful around the eyes. We're still gonna go with concealer here, but you need to apply it to your face to make sure you have the coverage around it as well. As I said, it won't be enough. Oh, we also need to do eyebrows. Let me speed the process up. I don't think you need to know again how to apply foundation. If you do, I you can rewatch my Valentine's Day video and there I'll do the whole process just fast forward a bit.
As you can see, I am glowing. This is hydrating foundation, so in case you want to do Pat McGrath without using an airbrush, you can take the Easter Lauder Hydra Rescue and use this foundation for your makeup. It will be glowing. Don't forget about your neck. My neck and this foundation match pretty well, so I don't need to put there a lot. This one is pretty light. I don't know, would I have any concealer would will fight it? Let's see. Let's see what I have. For the concealer, let's use again the shape tape number 12. Let's apply it to the areas where I need it the most. Here. And you know, we're we'll going careful with that because our eyes is already ready. Ready already. We don't want to put too much there to get to our ready, ready eye. Just like this. To the chin, to the top of your lip. Not necessary, but I'll do that. And to the forehead, but I'm out of the concealer. And this one start to dry out already. And I don't have a beauty blender, wet it down. So I'll do it with the brush. This one buffers it pretty terrible in my opinion, but we'll see. Okay, like this. Doing it right here. Or maybe a bit, since I still have some left. I might do it as well right here. Okay. Did I do it right? A bit here and a bit here. Looks nice. Do you want me to grab a beauty blender and wet it down or I'll leave it like this? Let's try without any blender today. Just brushes. Should be fine. Let's switch to the contour. Which contour we're gonna use? I'll tell you in a second. Okay, for the contour I recently got Vanessa Myrix in the shade medium one. So I never tried it before. Let's do it together. This is a JSA 110 face shape. Let's apply it to the brush. Okay, let's buff it a bit in the hand. Ooh, it's kind of orange. Let's see where we're gonna put it. Right here. So we build it up right here to make it softer. Just like this. You can see it's a bit orangey for me. I'm alright with that since I haven't tried this one. It's just a surprise for me. It's, I think it's a surprise for you right now. But I love how how it applies. I mean, I don't like the color, but it's great the shape. You see how it lifted up my face right now? Mm -hmm. Let's do the same to the other side. I need to put right here. Start it right here. To create this skeleton effect. <laughs> Probably need to move down a bit. I might move down just by tapping right here. Going here. Okay, I need to blend it a bit on the edges. I think you can see it's a bit orangey. I prefer when it's on the cool side, but since we got it already, let's continue with this one just to finish up the work we started. Mm-hmm, and I saw where I missed a spot or top of something here. But this is the point. I want to sharper at the bottom and lighter at the top. Okay, let's do the sides. Here. And you see it's not too dark, but it's a bit orange for me. Maybe on the forehead it's gonna be better, but it will definitely go and fix it with, with the dry textures. So let's draw in the nose. Okay, let's see 
how to do that. Look straight ahead. And I already kind of see the lines. Because my nose already drawn with concealer and foundation. <laughs> I mean the bottom part of the nose. There we can go a bit less accurate because nobody gonna see that. Gonna blend it as well. Especially since it's medium shade, I can be a bit more brave. It looks pretty good. Let me blend it a bit. I'm gonna smooth them out, but keep them there. My nose is pretty narrow, so I don't need to struggle with that too much. But I just want to make it pop. And you uh, probably already can see it's popping, popping at you. Let's do blush. I will do makeup forever, like this. For blush, I will do use the small brush. Uh, yeah, let's use this one. Uh, do we? Use this one. Uh, it's green. Yeah, we'll do this one. Let's apply. So since it's pink already on my face, let's add a bit of coral. Okay. Let's apply it right here when the area of the highlighter is. Pretty soft, as you can see. Oh, you cannot see. I hope you can, because I can see it in my in my mirror a bit, but not too much, and it's not too strong. I would say I probably would need more right here. Yeah, compared to the eyes, it's nothing. Let's leave it like this bit here a bit here Good. and let's apply highlighter it's gonna be cream highlighter I did not use a cream highlighter before so let me use something fluffy like this one and where is the highlighter Charlotte Tilbury gave her product in a tube with the sponge at the top as usual which I not a fan of but since I haven't tried it let's do that I think it's gonna be pretty gold and it would be great with darker skin tone but for me it's also good I like it. I mean, it's a bit wet, and I still can see it pretty heavily and need to blend it with something. Let me blend it. What to use to blend it? Let me use the same brush I used for the blush. But in our side. Yeah, blend it nicely. Or pick it up from the face. I don't know what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I think you can see the highlighter. It's glowing, but since the foundation is was pretty glowy and it still glows. Let me add a bit underneath my eyebrow right here and right here. Ooh looks nice okay let's move on to the powder let's use sigma today i have sigma and then soft focus setting powder vanilla bean let's see how smooth it's gonna be for me vanilla bean let's grab something like that this is a color right there. but i like this this small one which is originally for highlighter but i'm gonna use it for the powder. What do you think powder does? I can say it's kind of blurs all uneven 
things on your face, like some pores, You're supposed to hide them. And create smooth canvas for the camera. I don't know, I think you can see it already. But for me, I think it kind of shows you my skin texture. Oh, it's probably the highlighter. But glows like crazy right now. I can do the powder all over the face or just apply it to the lightest areas like where I use a concealer and where I use foundation but didn't use the contour okay like this tapping motion helps us create a nice smooth transition between two different products and also set it up for the future for example if you do bridal or preparing for some long event you can use the powder on top of that. Mm. Would I say I'm a fan of this powder? Uh, no. But it's kind of done what it needs to. But if you will ask me, I not recommend Sigma. I would move on with Laura Mercier. Since we're already orange, do you want to use Radiant today by Hourglass? Let me try to do the contour first. We will go ahead with the safe choice. It's Revolution. It's an ultra powder contour. And I'll grab the light one. At least it's covered this orange a bit. I hope it did. I'm not sure. Tell me guys, what do you think? <gasps> did it cover this one? I did not use the contour underneath of my leaf. Let me do it with the dry one. And let's go ahead and do a bit of contour right here. Where we didn't set it with powder, right now we're setting it with the dry contour, which kind of does what we need to set the product and also calm it down since it was pretty, pretty orange. You see, I also use the second hand to try to create a nice and smooth and symmetrical. Okay, let's do blush first. Uh, I don't know, let's grab tart. I have blush like this. It's kind of a nice, let's use this brush. It's not fluffy, but I don't care. Uh, Nice, let's switch to highlighter. Just something gradient today, and it's gonna be hourglass. And let's do the shade, it's uh, ambient volume free. Let's use all the three of them. I mean, it's not a highlighter, but it shines if you apply it to the top of your highlighter. Because previously, uh, it's kind of does shine but pretty soft i probably will not apply some highlighter in case this one doesn't work let's see what tart offer it's pretty it's pink i think okay Do it like this, and for the cheekbones, I will use the small brush. Nice, I like it. Get underneath eyebrow. I don't know, I don't see it usually when I do it about the lip. Oh, I can see it right now. Next step is gonna be what? Is it eyebrows already? Let me first of all spray a bit of fixing spray before we move on. Uh, which one? Let's do the airbrush by 
Sidewalk. Tilbury. Oh, nice texture. I love the smell. Uh, and I love the spray on my face. It's freshen it up a bit. And let's switch to eyebrows. Since we didn't do them. For eyebrows today we're gonna use the brow pen and this is a Vivian Sabot. So let me go ahead and prepare my eyebrow here. I wanna draw it pretty much the same as my natural shape. So we need to create a line underneath my eyebrow. A straight line, sorry. I forgot to tell you the secret. Oof. And don't press too hard, because you see the bone turns into dark just by pressing it harder. I usually prefer to do the uh, eyebrow corner first, but the lines uh, to create the shape is also good. Like this. And let's fill it in with stroke technique like this. Well, here by here. And you need to remember the corner of your eyebrow is supposed to be the darkest place on your eyebrow. Closer to the start you need to soften it a bit because you don't need to be too dark in the beginning of your eyebrow. And after we finish with applying the eyebrow, we can comb it with the brush what we have on our end of the pan. And if you don't have it, you can use the brush for eyelashes, which is like a reusable one or the one what goes single use and then you throw it away. You can also use this one. But be careful, I'm not I noticed when I use this brush on my eyebrows, I press too hard and it removes the foundation. So let's do the second one. Try to do your eyebrows every day. You will build up the skill, what is needed. So I don't do it every day. Work out for my life. I won't be a good professional with that. You can use my advice as a suggestion and decide on your own what is the best way for you to repeat it or to do something new. This. Let me blend it again with this brush. Okay, kind of like this. I hope they symmetrical. And this one is lower compared to this one. I can see it. Should be fine. One is longer. I think this one longer compared to this one. And it's a bit messed up right here. But it's alright. Just like this, pretty easy. Okay, I like the eyebrows. Let's move on to lips. For the lips, let's uh, choose the the pencil we're gonna use. I probably will use this one. This is NYX in a color Fuchsia. Or Fuchsia. Is it Fuchsia? I don't know. Mm -hmm. The top one. Let's connect the corners. I'm sorry, I all the time closing it with my mirror. Okay, we are going pretty fast today. Let's do the lower one. Okay, I think that's it for the pencil. Let's switch to the lipstick. Oh, I love the lipstick and this pencil goes together. The lipstick is Jeffree Star in the Sugar Spike. Like, 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 like. What do you think about the lipstick? Does it match my eyes today? It's much, maybe it's too much. But let's try this on today. Like this, and let's me also do the lighter shade. The one I got here is also Jeffree Star, it's Jeffree's Candy. It's lighter. So let's do same brush, I think right here. In the needle to make an illusion of the gradient. Okay, look at me. Pretty gradient, I think. But too big here. Let's use the concealer, what we used before, and clean it up a bit with the same brush we used around the eyebrows and also used it around the eyes. Okay. Good, and you can. Kill him. 
And it's enough. Enough is enough is enough. I can go on. I can go on. And okay, for this one, I think we can use the darker wick. Let's try it out. So, guys, this is the look what I created today. As you can see, it has been going well with the light hair for these eyebrows what we created. Even while my eyelashes is dark, we can also create the white eyelashes using the white mascara, which I did not do today, but this one is pretty good too. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, and leave your comment below to let me know what to do in the next videos. Bye!